television has enabled the viewer to witness the intricacies of the electoral process, particularly the political conventions, where important issues are decided. Anyone willing to come to order will give you a crisp $50 bill. We'll have to take away your funny hats. Please, come to order. If we don't conclude our business on time, the bars will be closed. Our first vote, should New Hampshire be blown up? New Hampshire, the first in the nation primary, cast nine votes, yes, ten votes, no. Uh, New Hampshire, I was expecting a few more no votes from you. Uh, finally, the important question, who is buried in Grant's tomb? New York. The state of New York passes. Can you take it, New Jersey? New Jersey passes. Uh, how about you, New Hampshire? Who is buried in Grant's tomb? New Hampshire, the first in the nation primary, cast nine votes, yes, ten votes, no. No, 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 New Hampshire, you're not paying attention. Now, just to make sure that everyone is paying attention, uh, lift your signs. Simon says, lift your sign. <laughs> lift your signs again. <laughs> I, I did not say Simon says, you're all out. <laughs> now to close the convention, everyone whose underwear is too tight, will you let go of your balloon? Mr. President, will you pull the uh, button up? It's locked. No, no, pull it up. No, that's down, sir. No, no, that's the window. Could you pull it up? Could you put the button up? Uh, uh. This just in. The federal school chair program was canceled today. We now go to Washington, D.C. for a special presidential press conference. ladies and gentlemen, but somebody finally realized that President Ronald Reagan is the same Ronald Reagan who appeared in numerous Hollywood B-movies of the 30s and 40s. Since an investigation into this matter has been called, I'm afraid there will be no press conference today. Sorry. Here I am on the grounds of Robin's Nest. Robin's Nest is the home of Thomas Magnum. Not to be confused with Tom Selleck, who plays the part of Tom Magnum. But you know that Tom Selleck is such a popular guy that uh, when ladies drive by here, they throw their telephone numbers over the wall. I think, I think people can't get Thomas Magnum confused with Tom Selleck. I hope they don't, but, but uh, inevitably they will. You really think you'd be missed by anyone? Well, that isn't the point, isn't it? All you really have to prove your worth, Wilson, is the friends you leave behind. 
Magnum, I'm sorry. Now, about your everyone life. knows the reluctant hero of Magnum P.I. Thomas Magnum has a style and a sense of humor not unlike that of Tom Selleck. <laughs> You're not going to get away with this. I won't tell anybody. Well, you just... No. No! <laughs> Tom Selleck began working in ads and television commercials to help defray the cost of college. In the 12 years before Magnum, he appeared in six films, seven pilots, and over 50 television shows. He looked like a young Clark Gable when he appeared as a regular on The Young and the Restless. What about? Your book, pretty lady. How's it going? Oh, all right. Then, uh, you are working on it. <laughs> of course. Be honest, pretty lady. You haven't written a word since the last time I saw you, have you? The first movie that I've, I've had a chance to do where I was in a lead position is just opening up. And I'm uh, really interested to see the audience's response to it. He appears with Bess Armstrong in The High Road to China. Nothing but a spoiled, snooty, rich little brat. I'll buy you another plane. You're damn right you will. And that's over and above the 100,000. Does that mean you're still going? Yeah, that's right. I'm still going, but I'm going solo. Oh, no! No! I will not give you one penny unless I go too! That's not part of the deal. Don't sue me! I don't have to sue you. I'll wring your scrawny oh, little yeah, neck. Oh, yeah, go on, do it! Do it, do it, do it! These days, Tom is on location in Hawaii. But the surf and sand and nightlife are lost on him. If it isn't on the Universal lot, he doesn't get to see it. Well, when we're uh, shooting Magnum, we work about a, usually about a six-day week, and uh, it leaves very little time to do anything else except maybe uh, eating and sleeping. Tom Selleck is an extremely likable, handsome man. Suntan, 6'4". He's the center of attention on and off the set. The studio was built to house Hawaii Five-0, and most of the crew are refugees from Hollywood. Interiors are shot on stage one, which is sort of a local joke. There is only one stage. Tom is 38 years old. He's married, but separated from his wife. He has a son, and they are very close. He was just awarded his third People's Choice Award for being the most popular male star on television. And he's still learning how to handle the enormous popularity that has come his way. Do you think it's helpful being here in Hawaii as yeah. opposed to being in the state? Yeah, very. The local people in Hawaii are quite uh, respective of, of my privacy, I find. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of tourists here, and, and one of the, you know, they come to Hawaii, one of the things they almost expect on their agenda is we want to watch Magnum shoot. i, I got to tell you a funny story about that, though. We were over at the Robin's Nest. Yeah. Your, the estate. The estate. <laughs> and uh, some tourists, as you said, gathered. I didn't realize there was going to be anybody there. I thought it was a private place. And I heard one of the tourists say, oh, that's not Tom Selleck. That's some other guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I said, Holy well. smoke, I knew. It, I, it made me humble right away. I knew I, knew I was in Hawaii. <laughs> I heard right. they throw underwear at your house. No. That's no not true. Most people don't know where I live. Huh. I live in New Guinea. It's... <laughs> It's a big commute, but it's Let me put it this way. I heard they threw underwear at the house where they think you live. I have never... I, I, I'm, I'm not kidding. I have no. never seen That's any one of those... underwear at my house. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding, though. No. They don't. They don't. Did, did this, all of this attention and everything, do you think it's changed to you at all? Oh, sure. I, I mean, I think everybody changes and everybody... Um, adjusts what as whatever they're exposed to. I mean, people obviously change. I hope it hasn't changed whatever 
basic system of values I have. And, uh... Well, people said to me, I said, uh, I said, I'm going out to talk to Tom Selleck. I said, uh, I don't know Tom that well. I said, we met. He's, I said, to me, he seems like the nicest guy in the world. They said he is. He's the nicest person in the world. He's, they said nothing. <laughs> they do. That's why everybody said he works with you and I know, talks about you. Two, three nicer people in the world. In the world. Know. What keeps you sane during all of this? Is there anything that you hang on to that... I, I've read about your family background, yeah. and I know that you have a strong strong sense of that. And I just wonder if there's anything... Well, that, that keeps me sane. They kind yeah. of keep me on the right track. And they all come over, and I get home when I can. You know, maybe it's just for a day or so. How about your um, son? My son keeps me sane. Uh, I, I, I miss him a lot. He's going to school in Los Angeles, and uh, uh, that's real difficult because he's growing up. It, it, it's one, it, it sounds old. wonderful to run off to Hawaii and do a TV show, but... but you know, my son is growing up, and I, I'm not around him, and I, I feel he needs a father. How old is he? He's 15. What did you do, or what do you do, I guess I should say, or what would you do in those times that you are alone? Did you have some time to yourself, do you? I do a lot of nothing, and I, I miss reading, so I, if I had the time, I'd be reading. I'd be, I would probably stay here in Hawaii, and uh, uh, putter around in my garden, Play some volleyball in the sand at the beach. <laughs> um, I heard you a pretty good volleyball player. I got involved in it again, and uh, it, it's, I mean, competitive volleyball, mm -hmm. Olympic-style volleyball, and I'm... I'm yeah, Will Chamberlain is supposed to be a pretty good Will's volleyball. Will's good. Yeah, He's so whatever. big, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not exactly a small yeah. guy. I mean, you... It's it's turning into a big big man's game. Yeah, spikes and yeah. dive and all of that. It's, it's a very fabulous. fast, yeah. powerful game. I really enjoy it. I'm too old for it. That's why I'm sitting funny. My knees hurt right now. Really? But, uh, it's a young man's game, you know. So, you know, you're talking about time. When, when do you have time? Do you ever get a chance to meet anybody else? With women, do you ever meet other... I don't really get out to meet people. Plus, it's a little harder to meet people, mm -hmm. really. Uh, I, find, I find people, uh, I find women a little more on guard, really. Mm -hmm. um, really? Well, I think people uh, and, and, and women, women can have a tendency to think that, that, that because of the position I'm in, mm -hmm. that, that, uh, that meeting people and, and uh, getting to know people comes very easily. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really no different I mean, than it was a few years ago. Um, unless you, I don't get a whole lot of gratification out of, uh, uh, I don't know what to call it, that kind of... Chasing women. Well, I've chased a few women. No, <laughs> I mean, no, about, out of the, the more groupy kind of attention. I, I, people who, who are interested mm -hmm. because, who may not have been interested a year ago, mm -hmm. but they, you happen to be on a few magazines now, and they, mm -hmm. they, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't get a whole lot of gratification out of that. So it, it doesn't take up much of my time, and uh, I don't have a lot of time. So I hang out with friends, and and I have some people that I see. Do you think Mostly f women uh, friends right now, because I'm not really involved with anybody. The biggest thing is I can't plan. I don't know what time I'm going to go to work the next day till I finish the night before. And I don't know what time I'm going to finish till about 